today we're going to be changing your SMP server from looking like this into this. With just 10 simple plugins. We're gonna begin with world changing plugins, all the way up to plugins that completely make your server look like no other ever seen. Why don't we begin with the world? The current Minecraft world does look amazing, and thanks team at Mojang, we have amazing landscapes with beautiful mountains and deep caves, but it can be better. Let's change it up with Terra. With this, we can add more custom mountains, completely new biomes, and trees with different colors. Change your landscape to look like no other server. No matter where your players want to build their home, they can pick and choose from a beautiful landscape. With over 100,000 downloads on Spigot alone, and it's well optimized, I see no reason not to begin with Terra. Now that we have that selected, your players need a method to spread out somehow. Not everybody wants to build all their homes at spawn, because for one, that will cause a lot of neighborly fighting. And two, it just wouldn't look all that good, would it now? And the third and last one is some people just want their own space. The perfect way to do that is by setting up better RTP. With that, it will recognize your world border and make sure that whenever they do teleport somebody, it will always be within that region. Now they can just teleport and start building up their own homes. However, there are griefers and there's always going to be thieves out there. So let's protect their land with Lance. I know that doesn't sound right, but stick with me for a second, would you? Lance allows your players with even certain permissions to claim a certain amount of land. You can set this up per ranks. Each rank will get more land claim. Of course, always be fair with that. And it's all done easily through a GUI. So they can even set up their friends and have a house party. For me, it would be pretty sad though because I wouldn't have any friends. Now we have that done, but let's say they randomly die, they could fall off a cliff or an unexpected intruder might kill them in the middle of the night. Who knows? With that, we can set up Axe Graves. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly, but with this plugin, whenever they do die, they will have a gravestone where they can come back and pick up their items. These are always, of course, configurable and how long they may last or anything like that. So you increase it double from what Mojang has it, or you can just make them infinite. However, I always prefer the method of having it within a time limit to make sure that no one just holds on to it. But let's go for the situation where you don't set it up to be infinite. We can add in wandering collectors. Huh? This adds a nice simple mechanic to the wandering traders, which will probably make you kill them just a little bit less. With this, every time they spawn in, they have a chance of spawning back with one of the items that you died from. So if you lost that really cool diamond sword, it may appear in their actual inventory slot, so you could buy it off of them once again, saving you the hassle of having to re-enchant all of it. But hey, if you just spare me a little bit of your time, we also need to place this server, well, in a server. So why don't you guys check out Revive in the description down below. They're our sponsor, and using them with my promo code DIAMOND in all caps, you can get 15% off your very first purchase. So you don't have any reason not to try them out right now. You can get a server for as low as a dollar per gigabyte. I use them, I recommend them, and it's super simple to get started with their clean and easy to use game panel. This server is hosted with them right now. But let's move on to some fun plugins, such as Fancy Physics. This not only allows explosions to look, may I say, phenomenal, but you can also change how certain things work. For example, chopping a tree. It's no longer boring and tedious. We have to chop down each individual block. You can chop down an entire tree and see it fall, maybe, to your friend's house. And that's just a few things that it could actually do. And just a little fun one I like is G-Set. It's super simple, but honestly, what you can do with it is just have a meet and greet, have coffee, or just read a book in peace. Like I said, this one's super simple, but I do like it for what it can do for your server. But now let's add server changing features, such as HMC wraps. This allows your player base to have custom wraps on their existing tools. With the current enchantment they have, this will give them zero benefit other than them making look super cool. It's a great donator perk that allows your player base just to have fun with what they already have. Give them a flaming sword, for example, or make their sword look like a stick. It's really your choice what you do. But what you should do, of course, is add custom fishing. Why not? Fishing in Minecraft is dull, boring, and 
you get the lamest fish. Look at it. It doesn't even move. But instead, why don't we go with custom fishing, which makes it so we have Stardew Valley aspects into the actual game. For example, whenever you reel a fish in, now you actually have to tug and fight it and make sure it gets just right in the bar so you can reel in the fish and claim it for yourself. That way you and your family have a meal later that night. But that's not all. They also come in rarities and all these flavors. I don't even know what this one is. But jokes aside, this is an astonishingly amazing plugin. And I really suggest if you just want to add a little bit more fun into the actual Minecraft game. And last, but of course not least, we're going to be adding custom crops. This adds what we're still waiting on Mojang to add, just new food and plants, because that's what a lot of us want. I've been wanting a farming update for ages, and this adds it. Of course, this is in a Stardew Valley, similar method. The more you take care of your plants and you water them, and when you collect them, you also get a rarity, so it could provide you more benefits, such as filling up your hunger bar more or your saturation. You can also set it up in your server to make these sellable. For higher rarities, they can sell for a higher amount. And it's really that simple to do. And now that we have all these plugins set up, what we're going to do is push them all into one big ball and release the server. This is how we have this amazing server. But hey, that's just my ideas on how to change your server landscape. So if you guys have any other, make sure to tell me in the description down below. Other than that, I'm Diamond. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And here's some videos that YouTube eh, maybe thinks that you're gonna like. Who knows, man? It's YouTube. All right, I'm out. Cheers.